Hi folks, uh, Roger here from Wolfgrid Van Life and um, uh, in the previous episode I just unboxed these Lyshen 202 amp hour cells. Uh, Lyshen are, are a very well known, uh, very trusted and liked uh, brand of uh, lithium ion phosphate cells and uh, <clears throat> these are quite uh, nice, they, they're quite uh, narrow, they're about 54 millimeters. Um, the 280 amp hour cells are 72 millimeters thick, these are 54. So they make quite a nice little pack, uh, 202 amp hours, uh, of which really 180-ish uh, amp hours would be usable if you want the cells to last for a long time. Um, so we're about to top balance them and I thought I'd just take you through uh, the rig that we built to do that. Um, most often people will just use uh, bus bars put them in parallel, four cells in parallel, and uh, connect their charger to one of the lots of terminals. So what we've done, we've uh, created these leads, uh, four black leads going onto the negative terminals, and four uh, red leads going into the positive terminals. And we find this is a really nice, easy way of doing the top balancing. So um, <clears throat> if I, we got one of these uh, charges from, uh, Alibaba or Aliexpress, I can't remember which. Uh, it's a pretty good charge. I mean, it's rough and ready, but it, it works really, really well. And um, we've set it to uh, output 3.65 volts at the most. So it's sitting at 3.6467 at the moment. Uh, <clears throat> so turn it on and uh, connect up. They've got these little crocodile leads, so not the strongest, not the best surface area connection, but not too bad. Uh, charging it, uh, let's see, we, we can adjust this, so I'm going to bring it up to, I want to charge quite rapidly, so we are charging, I charge this at about 35 amps, and that'll be to top balance these to 3.65 uh, each set in parallel. So um, let's check in this in a few hours time. So all four of these cells are top balanced uh, to 3.65 volts. Uh, they would have settled down now to their resting voltage. Um, haven't uh, checked it very recently but uh, didn't foresee any problems. Um, somebody asked us to uh, do more close-up of what the cells actually look like. So let's do a close-up of this. <coughs> So these are Lyshen 203, 204 amp hour cells and the um, uh, same uh, width as the 280 cells and the 320 cells that you usually get which is 175 millimeters wide. They're uh, 200 millimeters tall uh, but they're quite a lot thinner. I'm not sure the exact, let's get my tape measure out. Uh, so that's 53, 54 millimeters, and a normal 280 amp hour cell is uh, 72 millimeters, so quite a lot lighter, about 3 point something kgs versus 5 kgs. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to get close so that I'd show you uh, the, the terminals are these uh, laser welded studs, so they can be torqued down to about 10 newton meters max. Um, which is quite a high torque. We have done a lot of temperature tests on these and uh, discovered that they work really well. And the main area of concern that people had was this uh, very small, it's almost like a little collar that uh, the lug would sit on, very small surface area. Uh, you know, normally you have a nice big surface area of contact. This is tiny by comparison, but because you can torque it down so hard, it uh, really does work well. I want to show you uh, one of the reasons why you really should always wear safety gogs uh, when you're doing anything. I uh, had a bit of a, an oopsie <coughs> on this one, if you know what an oopsie is. Um, you see this little burn mark, so some, a cable slipped out and a nice big spark, a bit of a lug melted and dropped down onto here. So this is the reason why you should actually wear glasses. Um, very rarely that we... Uh, have one of these little mistakes happen, but you know, it happens to anybody. So really important that you do protect your eyes as uh, best you can. So I'm gonna uh, put these in. I'll show you this uh, booth over here. <coughs> this is a 
constant temperature booth, so we've got a little heater and a thermometer in here just to check. It's really warm. Uh, it's sitting at uh, usually between 20 and 25 degrees centigrade. The idea is that uh, it's unfair on the manufacturers of the cells to uh, test at too low a temperature. So this barn is quite cool at the moment, it's about 12 degrees. Uh, it would not be fair on them to do a capacity test at this temperature. So I'm going to uh, load these cells into here now and uh, connect up the four uh, testers. We've got four individual testers, we're going to test each individual cell in this particular test. So let's get to it. Right, I'm going to pack these into the little testing booth and wire up the testers. With these, uh, your lighter coloured terminal, almost white coloured, so this here, your lighter coloured, almost white coloured is your negative, and the black one is the positive. This is true of virtually all, maybe absolutely all, lithium ion phosphate cells, prismatic cells. <coughs> So it's something you've got to get used to. Black, in this case, is live. Right, uh, safety goggles. Just in case, because I value having some good eyes. And let's get on to this now. Uh, I've got four testers, two different makes. So remember, black goes onto the light coloured one. Um, I'm not going to chance something coming off, so I'm going to actually fasten it on, or at least put a little nut on straight away. Okay. And red goes on to the black one. I'm going to just uh, nip it up a little bit. Not much. It's the first one ready. Right, all roughly 3.6 something volts. <clears throat> and I'm going to start the uh, testing from left to right, just set them off, and uh, it'll take as long as it takes. I'm going to run a slow burn, probably roughly uh, about a, a 10 amp uh, draw on these, so this will be finished sometime tomorrow. So here are the four testers running. You can see uh, we're busy clocking up, so 1.5 amp hours so far, and just under 1.5. And here's on a different rig, uh, 1.45 and 1.47, because we're slightly higher on this one. So there are the four testers. We have checked their accuracy. They're within. Uh, definitely within two percent of each other. I think the I think they're about they're from the the worst or the lowest to the highest about one and a half percent actually. So pretty accurate and good enough for what we want to do. But uh, yeah, wouldn't be used for industrial stuff. Uh, cells behind there being kept warm. So let's see in twenty hours time. Test is nearly done. This one has just clocked up over. 209 amp hours. So <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a 202 cell, so 209 is good. It's still going, you can see it's 2.6 volts, and so I'll stop at 2.5. This one's uh, going a bit slower, 2.8, but it's running at two, nearly 2.209 2 amp hours. Very similar to the other one. It's a style tester. 
this one stopped some time ago at 205.6 um, this is a, quite a lot lower than the others and this one stopped at 209.6 so very big difference between those two and in fact this is the odd one out it's a lot less than the others uh, these two are meeting the capacity quite nicely I'll uh, film this again when they're all done Right, so the uh, capacity tests have uh, completed and uh, let's go and see what they look like. So the first one, 210, we know close to 211 amp hours actually. So pretty good. Uh, we ran all the cells down to 2.5 volts and stopped the test there, cut off voltage, and uh, I'm very pleased with that result. We ran the last two hours or so at uh, a low 4 amp draw so for the majority of the test we ran at 10 amps and then just brought it down to 4 amps just for the last two hours once they had exceeded 200 amp hours we moved it down to 4 amps so pleased with that first one very pleased in fact nearly 211 amp hours this one is even more 212 nearly 213 amp hours so way more than the stated capacity uh, they are fairly similar to each other and uh, uh, you know 210, 212 is uh, pretty much the variation you'd expect. However, let's get to the third one. This one was 205 amp hours. Different tester but usually they yield the same results and uh, you can see this one much lower. That is uh, of slight concern. The um, resting voltage has come back up to 2.76 uh, to be expected and uh, so pleased that they met the capacity, but um, a little bit concerned that they are, what's it, about 3-4% um, different from the highest one. Uh, this one here is 209, nearly 210 amp hours, so uh, quite similar to the other one across the way there. <clears throat> um, very pleased with that result. So two cells very close to each other, then a much higher and a much lower. And, uh, but all of them have um, met and exceeded the 202 amp hour capacity. So those are the four testers, as you can see, just sitting on the desk there with the wires coming down underneath into this uh, temperature controlled booth. So here are the four Lyshen cells. The first one, which it was 210 point something amp hours, uh, is the one that we uh, uh, shorted and so it has still behaved itself nicely second one really high doing really well third one much lower uh, of a bit concern and finally the fourth one um, about the same as the first uh, this third one has got slightly thinner cables but at the low current draw that we were running I wouldn't expect that to make a difference not a material difference anyway not not that big maybe one ampere down or so not as much as we had. Right, so these are the four cells and they're happy that they have all met the stated capacity. So final thoughts on these uh, 202 amp hour Lyshen cells. Uh, I'm quite impressed with them as we saw in the test the lowest was uh, call it 206 amp hours, the stated capacity is 202 and the highest was uh, nearly 213 so slightly concerned that there was such a big difference between the highest and the lowest. Uh, when we've uh, had, you know, when we run tests on, on really good cells such as these um, EVE cells that you see here, this is a much bigger cell, it's a 280 amp hour cell. These are, these are the cells that we use to build uh, the OPS batteries. Uh, this, this one is really, they're really consistent. Uh, on a 280 amp hour, you don't get more than about uh, two or three amp hour difference across four cells. They're very, very close to each other, very good quality. So these are EVE cells made by EVE. These are Lyshen cells made obviously by Lyshen. Um, still, I'm very happy that they uh, met the capacity. Um, we, we are, so what are the next steps? Well, I'm gonna build this into a proper battery. Uh, as you can see, it would be quite a small battery, just only 200 amp hours, so a dinky little thing um, that we'll use as a sort of a mobile unit for 
camping and various things. Uh, it'll be way less than 200 uh, kilograms, uh, 20 kilograms to lug around, 200 kgs. Um, so le way less than, than 20 kgs, which is easy to lug about. I mean, when you build a battery out with these, it's 23, 24 kgs uh, when you've added the BMS and the case or the, the ply case, or whatever you're doing with it, <clears throat> and the thread bars. Now, uh, this um, is going to be a nice light. I might even use uh, thinner bolts, um, you know, M4 or something like that uh, to hold them together. And um, we'll run a, a, a higher C uh, capacity test then. So this was a very low C test. So for the majority of the test, we ran it at uh, 10 amps. And then once they had reached their stated capacity, we dropped it down to four amps just to see what it would top out. So well below the, the bottom knee. And uh, so that's where we got to the uh, 206 to 213, let's call it, amp hours. Um, but um, yeah, pleased with what I see. Uh, would I actually build this into an RV? Well, if I was really strapped for weight and space, uh, a good idea. It's only 200 amp hours, which is, to be fair, is the equivalent of sort of three and a half standard uh, leisure batteries. So it's still not, not doing too bad um, because the uh, of a 100 amp hour leisure battery, a lead acid battery, you can really only use 50% uh, of its capacity. So 100 amp hour, you're using 50 amp hours. And uh, so to get to the 200 that these offer, you need uh, four of those. Obviously, you're not going to run 100% of this capacity if you want the cells to last. So call it three, three and a half of those big 100 amp hour leisure batteries. So you're still talking about a really dinky little battery that is the equivalent of, of three great big beasts. So, yep, uh, we'll take you through the process where we build this box out all our thinking around how to construct it so that it's um, mobile and robust and uh, able to do what we want it to do. But uh, would I recommend these? Uh, very definitely. They, they are good quality. Lyshen do make good quality. Lyshen don't actually put these uh, studs on this laser welding. This is done by whoever you buy them from in China or wherever. Uh, <clears throat> they, they would uh, put these on themselves. And these have been put on really well. We know from past experience, you can talk them down to 10 Newton meters, which is quite a high torque and that enables us to have a very high C draw without heating up on the terminals. So stick with us and you'll see how we build this into a nice little portable dinky battery. Thank you.